Well, I'm here today to accept the Edinburgh Award, um, which I think it's its third year that's been uh, in existence. And previous recipients are Ian Rankin and J.K. Rowling. And obviously, I'm very, very honoured and delighted to be here to, to accept it. And just to to be here in my hometown, it's a very special day. I keep thinking, you know, that's it. That's the end of the year, and that's the end of all the different exciting events. And then another one comes along, another one comes along, and this was really unexpected. You know, I, I kind of thought that the uh, the knighthood would be the last big day, you know, on, on the back of Beijing. And, and this is another amazing honour and, and one which is very special to me. I was down in Wimbledon on Saturday to, to watch Andy Murray and I've uh, been cheering him on and uh, watched the, the match last night on TV and just, you know, wishing him all the very best. He's, he's doing so well so far. I mean, it was a, a close game yesterday, close match yesterday, but he's a battler and he doesn't give up. If, you know, if I could just say anything to him, it would be that, you know, don't pay attention to any of the pressure, any of the media, just focus on your game, focus on what you do best and uh, enjoy it as well because it's, it must be uh, an incredible experience to walk out in centre court and to, to have the crowd, every single member of the crowd behind you. Um, you know, I was there on Saturday and that, the atmosphere even for the third round match was, was incredible so I've no idea what it'd be like if he makes, makes it through to the final. Um, it would be the dream final against Federer and that really would be the one that, that everyone's hoping is going to take place.